Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, and I'm uh, back with some more Kerbal Space Program. And if you can see what it says down in this corner here, .090 Beta is finally out, and I am uh, going to start a new career mode. See how everything uh, works now with all the changes. So let's uh, start a new one. Call it Beta. Difficulty, uh, we'll just do normal difficulty. And I am going to choose my flag here. So, bunch of them now. Although I think uh, a lot of these are existing uh, or from uh, 0.25. So let's hit start. Meet the new Space Center. Nice to meet you. Gene Kerman, Flight Director of your guides for this quick introduction. The Space Center, from here you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around, hold the right mouse button to move the camera or use the arrow keys. Right click over the Space Center facilities to view more about them. Left click when you're ready to head inside. If you need more information, check out the training section on the main menu. Alrighty, so uh, definitely one of the uh, new things is that you upgrade the buildings as time goes on. So we just have a small little launch pad and a dirt runway and a small hangar and a small VAB and pretty much <laughs> small everything else. Astronaut complex. Only capacity the five Kerbals. Kerbals can only disembark on Kerbin. Base pace hangar. Only 30 parts. Mission control facility. Only two active contracts. R&D facility. Science limit 100. Tracking station, orbits visible in the map. VAB max parts 30. All right, let's uh, look at the astronaut complex because uh, this is uh, one of the things that changed. We got a hundred percent. Kerbin the Kerbals <laughs> now have uh, um, skills. I guess is the word. You got uh, basically three classes: pilot, engineer, and scientist. And uh, they skill up, gain XP, and uh, well, you can see Jebediah right now has stability assist. So. Uh, I guess you can you can turn on things or activate their special, and as you upgrade them, they can do more and more things. I, I think eventually, like it sort of works like Mech Jeb. You can have Jebediah actually just fly into orbit, uh, but you have to get him a lot of XP first before he'll do that. Uh, engineers are capable of repairing broken parts. Um, I'm assuming that's more than like buggy wheels and things like that. Scientists will get you bonus science. Uh, scientists, engineer. I'm thinking uh, let's pick up an extra pilot and an extra scientist. Um. He looks good. So it's a little cut off here. I'm sure that will be fixed. We have now hit our max Kerbals. Alright. Uh, next thing we're going to need is some cash. We have a little bit of funds, but... Uh, uh -huh. Hey, Gene. 
Well, we can accept two at once. So let's launch a new vessel and set an altitude record of 5,000. That should be relatively easy. Um, one of the other big upgrades is they've added in one of the mods that added a lot more contract types, although at the beginning you'll have the basically pre-canned contract, but once you uh, get through the first uh, five or six contracts then you'll start getting uh, some of the generated contracts and that will include the new types which I believe includes uh, space stations and capturing asteroids and all sorts of other things like that. Um, so we are at our max active contracts. Um, so it should now be time to um, build a ship, but let's just look at the R&D. This looks a little... Yeah, they got nice new bubbles here. So this is the technology we started out with. That should be enough to get to uh, 5,000. How hard can rocket science be anyway? Looks like some good stuff there. Uh, another thing they've added. Uh, well, you can't really see it here, but every body now has biomes. Uh, not showing up here because I haven't been to them. But, uh,. I'm guessing, well, I guess I should say every solid body. I don't think the sun has biomes. <laughs> but every other body now has biomes. Alright, so let's, uh... Welcome to the Vehicle Assembly Building. Now, this has been upgraded as well. Hello, I'm Werner von Kerman, Chief Rocketry Engineer. This is the Vehicle Assembly Building. Here's where we built spacecraft and later rolled them out onto the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? On your left, you'll find components to construct your own spacecraft, select the starting part, then attach others to it to build a ship. You can have a look around with the right mouse button or the arrow keys. That's really it. It's not as if we're rocket science. Oh, wait. <laughs> Anyhow, if you need more in depth explanations on how to build, have a look at the training section of the main menu. Got it. So they put the tabs on the side, and you can now sort. Object, you know, uh, the items by mass or cost or size. Uh, I believe you can also make your own categories, your favorite parts, and uh, let's look around here because I believe they also added things like uh, better handles or uh, oh, the fuel tanks are in separate. All right, we got main pods, fuel tanks. Engines, command and control, which we don't have anything, uh, but this will probably be the RCS and uh, SAS. Place off, ooh, offset. Nice. <laughs> Structural, aerodynamic, utility, and science. All right. Uh, for our first ship, we're gonna need select and attach part to offset. Oh, and now we can. Oh, that is that is nice. Now I wouldn't use that there particularly. Yeah, once things are attached now, you can adjust them. And I'm assuming if I do unlock angle... That'll be very nice. So if you want to build space shuttle type ships and need to uh, angle the engines slightly so they go through your center of mass because it's offset, that will really help. What is that?
Alright. Well, let's get building. Um, we are going to do ye old simple rocket here with just a single solid booster. Uh, craft stats. Very nice. Height, length, width, mass. Three of the 30 that we are allowed. Uh, launch a new vessel. Achieve an altitude record. Let's turn on. We don't have any lift. There's our center of mass and our center of thrust. It's going to cost about 1400 funds. And we have that much reputation. And the yeah, essence. Uh, just one seater. We might as well take the pilot. Uh, actually, let's call this Beta One and save it. And uh, let's go for liftoff. Let's uh, take a look at this new launch pad. Or <laughs> old launch pad, as it may be. Um, yeah, it's basically just a flat area with scorch marks on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't matter if we throttle up. I'm going to turn on SAS. And we're going to lift off in 3, 2... One. Go Jeb! And hopefully we will reach 5,000. We are quickly passing 200 meters per second and increasing. And uh, I'm thinking we're gonna hit 5,000 easily. Uh, approaching 400 meters per second. Past 5,000, we're still going. Uh, we're probably going to hit 10,000 even. And away we go. We have gotten both of our contracts. Our reputation has increased accordingly. Um, let's get a crew report. Let's keep that. Okay, we are slowing down. And we are heading down. I don't want to try to get an EVA report. Um, <laughs> I've had bad luck with that EVA reports in the atmosphere. Um... What are we doing? We, oh, we're, we're doing fine on electrical charge and the like. All right, we are picking up speed. We're uh, almost going 300 meters per second down. Although it's now decreasing due to atmospheric drag as we get into the thicker part of the atmosphere. About 5,000. We'll pop the parachute. Uh, let's turn off SAS or not because we don't want to be going that direction. Alright, let's pop the parachute and turn off SAS. Now, the parachute's not fully deployed. It won't until uh, we're about 500 meters off the ground, but it will uh, cause increased drag in this configuration, slowing us further. Okay, and there's the chute. Alrighty. Looks like we're going to have a successful uh, mission here. 
test out our new uh, space center, new space program. Just before we hit the ground, I'm going to try to uh, tip the ship sideways a little so that we will tip over while the parachute is still open uh, so I can get out, or we can get Jib out and uh, get a surface sample for a little extra science while we're here. Ground is about 70 meters up. So let's uh, start trying to tip now. And hopefully... Well, we lost the engine. But uh, I think we're doing okay. Let's, uh, let's EVA here. Um, let go. Keep the data. Can we, uh, get you a surface sample here? Yep, come on. Jump up there. To be on this side. Or actually on the ground over here. Alrighty, let's see if that's... Uh, no, no surface samples? Is that something we have to research now? Uh, okay, I'm just going to go back to the ship. And uh, we'll call it a mission. And see what we can do next. Let's jump. <laughs> little trip there. Grab board and <laughs> that's a uh, EV report from Crawlerway. Yes, it did. Recovery of a vessel that survived the flight. Crew report. We got uh, a total of fifteen science. And we recovered the command pod and the parachute and some mono propellant. And he gained one XP. I'm not sure if that's one level or one tiny bit of a level. But uh, let's see what we can do with that science now. We can research basic rocketry now. And we have 10 science left over. But, uh, yeah, that's not enough for any of these. But we did uh, set an altitude record. And we did launch a new vessel. So let's uh, get some more contracts here. Wow, alright, those contracts really open up. Um, escape the atmosphere. That's probably not what we could. Something we could do right now. Form a visual survey. We need to test our newly acquired capabilities with focus. Survey of carbon. Take a crew report at the location designated below. Near Manley's Odyssey. I have no idea where that is. Um, test test a parachute uh, between twenty and twenty four thousand meters at that speed. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, this is something we could do. Test the solid rocket booster. I think we just actually did it. <laughs> we'll accept that contract. Um, that's pretty tall. Um, let's take another one of these. I would take the one. Does any of these give us science? Um, Radial decoupler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is only two science, so it's not really. Um, Hundred reputation isn't bad. This seems relatively easy. Let us take that. All right. So, um, we got a few new parts here. We have this just because we have a contract. thinking we'll have a bit of a bigger ship and uh, we'll want that on a separate stage need a real decoupler and let's mirror it So the solids will go off, lifting us up, and uh, once we're at altitude, so we almost went that high with just one. So I'm thinking two will take us nearly that high, as long as we're not over that 740. We'll s turn on this engine just to get us up to the right height, and we can throw all this down if we're going too fast. We can then decouple these and satisfy the test, and uh, let's for safety we'll have a safer landing this way, and, uh, and maybe we'll land in the uh, ocean this time. And hopefully we'll be able to get some uh, surface samples there. Do we, uh... Let's go to the astronaut complex. What is this? Alright, so one XP... Oh, and he even has a flight log. One flights at Kerbin. Okay. So, solid booster landed at Kerbin. That should be right away. And then radial decoupler in flight. 
at that range. Let's go for it. I wonder if... Oh, maybe that's what's... Maybe because Jeb isn't a scientist, he can't take surface samples. Alright, maybe that's the explanation. Let's turn on SAS. Looks like we're all set for solid, and then we'll get this. Alright, we're going to launch in three. Uh, we're going to <laughs> launch in three, two, one. <laughs> Alright, we are going up, uh, maybe not quite as quick as last time. We do have a heavier ship, we do have twice the thrust, but yes, uh, I think we have twice the mass as well. Uh, but we're uh, picking up speed now. Passing 5,000. I'm going to throttle up here. And. Hoping this takes us. To, yeah, this should take us to 15, and we are picking up speed again, so we should be over 340. And we are. So as long as we can hit uh, 15 kilometers, and we have. and. Tested everything. Um, where should we land? I'm thinking a little this way. In fact, we probably hit that height record. You know, we are going to space today. We definitely are going to space today. Are these are places named now? The Sid Manley's whatever, and the one something I'll have to figure out. Um, let's head south more and not so far west. land in the planes there. Keep a little fuel just in case. Uh, let's get a crew report. Not enough electricity. Did we run out of... We should have plenty of electricity. Crew report. Let's keep the data. Oh, we can't do EVAs until we've upgraded the astronaut complex. Well, isn't that complex? <laughs> Alright, we are going entirely too high. Let's, uh, let's get back. We're out of fuel, but we are going down now. <laughs> I guess at this point it would be okay to jettison. Woo, that swings around fast. And, uh, let's just time warp. Uh, 
Uh, looks like we're going to come down in the mountains. Back in the atmosphere. Still see the, uh, yeah, it's a good half kilometer behind us. It's the moon. So picking up speed. Although not quickly, it's, all right, it's now slowing down. Getting re-entry effects. Forces are going up. Let's uh, pop that parachute. We are going to not be landing in so great an area. Gonna be on the side of the hill here. Uh, which may be a problem. Especially if we wind up rolling down the hill. <laughs> Well, that was a disaster. Oh, we did get those two contracts done. Um... See, I'd like to take these, but I don't know where these places are, or if they'll even be labeled on the map. But we do have four years to do them. Although, because we can only take two contracts at a time... <laughs> Test an LV-909 engine. We can do that. Test a Mark 16 parachute. We'll probably do that in the same trip. Uh -huh. Say close here. to do. All right, LV nine oh nine. This will weigh less, so we'll go faster. We should be able to make that, I think. But, um, hmm, not if, 
We'll do two different launches. One... We'll get this. On the way down, we'll try to get this. If we can't... We'll get it on the next mission. Um... I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put... Bob in. See if we can get some more science. Beta 3. And want these first. I said we want these first. That looks... Uh, well, no. Probably we'll need to start that before. That's what we want. Oh, we lost our radial decoupler contract? That's... that's right. Well, we'll have to only for that test. Um, which... No, not launch. <laughs> which reminds me, we didn't... Um, Active Space Center. We didn't look at our science. We did earn... Some, but not enough for the real decoupler. <laughs> so, uh, we're just going to go back. And, uh... Launch this ship. We got Bob. Scientist Bob. Just gonna put the throttle all the way up, and uh, let's launch in three, two, one. What happened? That was not the staging I had set up. Yes, next, next. No, you're supposed to be here. I guess the staging got all messed up when I, uh... removed the decouplers. Alright. Launch. Okay, in three, two, ah, one, go. Luckily, this is rather stable. So we don't have a pilot. Alright, we're approaching necessary speed. We're halfway to the altitude. off, looks like, but, uh, we can handle it, 
How are you handling it, Bomb? some speed. Pick up some speed by not fighting gravity, I think. Too high, though. Just make one like this. Speed. Go over five something. All right, we tested the parachute. Um, unfortunately, the rocket we have no control over anymore. Um, great, let's keep that data. come loose, but then the, uh, the pod kind of got shoved back on top of the decoupler. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully as the fuel runs out, it comes clear, and it did. Let's, uh, drop that off. Watch it splash down. All right, we're about a kilometer from the water. There, that's going to splash down. Alrighty, and we should be able to gently glide down. Little physical time warp just to get there quicker. Alrighty, we got about 50 meters to go. And maybe we can get out again a sample with the scientist. Alright, we have splashed down. Let's uh, EVA. Uh, here we go. Okay, looks like we may have to upgrade something to be able to take surface samples. Let's board and recover vessel. All right, we earned uh, eight and a half science there. 
And we got uh, almost a thousand in funds. And uh, Bob got an XP. So, what's, what can we upgrade? Or what can be upgraded first? That mission control can be upgraded rather easily. Um, but it looks like it's going to take quite a bit of funds. Alright, well, um, we did complete two contracts here. So let's uh, see what else we can do. Radial mounted parachute. CC solid fuel booster. Not too high. Not too fast. I think that's I think that's doable. Alright. And Stack decoupler while landed? That that seems easy enough. <laughs> uh, radial parachute also seems easy, but gives more, uh, more science. Speaking of science... We got 28. Which means we can get one of these. I'm gonna go for the radial decoupler. Cause right now, that will help us more, I think. this stronger engine on. Radial. Mount parachute. And the solid booster at two kilometers. Let's take that parachute off. We'll do two of these parachutes. Just because they work out nicely like that. We'll take two radial decouplers and we'll put some normal or basic solid boosters on them. And then we'll take two more. Radial. And... Put 
those up there. And on this one, we'll put the big boosters that we are testing. Hoping this works out like that and just so we can give ourselves a little extra oomph if we need it the main engine here um, the idea is hopefully th this will be heavy but hopefully the basic solid boosters and this engine will be able to get us up to two and a half kilometers where we can then start these and then we'll just go crazy Call this beta four, and uh, let's uh, let's leave Bob in control and um, see what happens if uh, he gets another XP. See if that will upgrade him. Um, ooh, wow, yep, that's, uh, we'll play with that another time. Uh, I think this is good, so let's, uh, Really? We have to lose some weight. Okay, redesign. That looks fine, actually. Uh, the staging like that. Um, put you here. Some normal solids like that. How heavy are these engines? Oh, those are three tons. need to get up to two and a half kilometers. Th that this should be fine. I hope. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Um, I didn't even see what the radial. We'll get the radials on the way down. Um, it doesn't matter what I put the throttle at, so let's just go in uh, three, two, one. Look at that. Um, we shouldn't have any problem about overspeed, so we can go up to 600. I think we'll get going that fast, but we're over the minimum. We'll spin. There we go. Those are quite explosive. So 
strangely, we're not uh, going fast enough for the radials. So we not tip over more. Well, at this point, we just want to keep going straight up, I think. We are going to space today. I'll decouple this once we're up in orbit. Well, not orbit, but suborbit. Get a crew report. Let's keep that data. And no EVA report. Alright, let's just uh, time warp here a bit. bit hard to pull off. Not sure if we'll make it. I'm guessing uh, if we want to keep our speed, we'll want to keep the mass. And actually, that's the way we're staged, too, so that kind of works out. All right, we are entering the atmosphere. We want to stay above 400 when we get to about 8,000. I think we did it. We did it dangerously, but we we did it. Uh, not sure exactly what the speed was. We were getting close to the lower end of the speed as we were just entering the upper range of the altitude. But I saw everything go green, so I quickly pressed the stage button. Alrighty, we're thousand, so that means the ground is a little over five hundred. So let's uh, just physical time warp. Thanks, I know. Until we get down to about six hundred, looks like we're in some nice plains here. Gently uh, rolling hills. There's the, uh, there's the shadow. Alrighty. And, uh, just about down. There we go. Where, where did we land anyway? Wow, we're, uh, Pretty much middle of nowhere. <laughs> K 
can we get some uh, EVA reports or uh, surface samples? Let's. Uh, EVA. Let's take data. Can we? Grasslands. Keep the data. Doesn't look like we can get uh, surface samples. That's probably will require an upgrade. Grab. Board. Crew report. From the grasslands. Keep the data. Cover vessel. I think we maximized our science there. All right, we got 17.9, uh, 16.9 science, just about 17 science on that. Total 37 science. Should uh, allow us to unlock a bunch of stuff. Got uh, 1,800 funds back. No XP gain, though. I guess you have to get into orbit to get more XP. Alrighty, um, we will, oh, we have a goo container menu, we should, we should have been using that. <laughs> we got some more science though, and uh, I think next time we'll start off uh, purchasing stuff with some science, looking at our available contracts. And, uh, seeing what we can do. We'll miss you, Jeb. But, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, <laughs> watching me, uh, work out some of the new mechanics and the new. 0 0.9 version of the Kerbal Space Program Beta. And I guess uh, I will see you guys next time. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys then.